Hey guys, we're in here in the trailer and we are finally getting around to using up a lot of the old insulation that we took out. Uh, we've got some new, got some salvaged, and we're just going to use this stuff up. Now, I'm giving you all a major secret here that a lot of homeowners and other people don't know. Um, if you're going to mess with fiberglass, uh, even the one they say is a non-itch, uh, Manville or whatever, that's bull. They all do. So if you're going to mess with it and you don't want to get covered in it, Emma, you don't want to get covered in it, the best thing that you got is hairspray. Now this is a, uh, I guess you'd call it a installer's secret or just pretty common sense. The hairspray is typically the best defense against fiberglass fibers. So whether you're doing... Um, fiberglass repair work on a boat or on a car or you're installing fiberglass in a trailer or a house or you're blowing it in whatever you're doing this right here now you can use different brands so it's not going to matter and i've got a few of them down there below the video that's the ones that i've used in the past and i bulk order them because i do a lot of insulating uh, i build carports garages and things so big commercial garages, a lot of insulation. You can hire it out and they charge you crazy, but I do a lot of it myself. I like doing it. So this right here, the Pantene is the one that I found is about the best, but the Aquanet off the Walmart shelf is just about as good. So Daniel's gonna show you what we do here. He's gonna pull his sleeves back. And what we do is just simply take the hairspray and he will spray it on his hands between his fingers, up his arms, and just slightly coat himself, just like you would like for off mosquito patrol or something. Um, you're gonna put it on there. Uh, you're roughly about three inches away from the skin and then you're gonna let it dry. Now, what it does is the stuff that's in here is mainly like a starch type compound. It's safe, it's not gonna hurt you. You put it on your hair. It's gonna dry and then it will create a barrier that will rinse off with cold water never do that with hot water in fact if you don't use hairspray never run hot water on your arms to rinse off your hands or arms from insulation because as soon as the hot water hits your arms it will open the pores and the insulation will go into your skin literally so do not do that this right here is your best defense when working with insulation of fiberglass or anything like that or even rock wool believe it or not it'll keep it out of you uh, the second thing is, is that when you use a face mask, you'll take the face mask and you will spray the surface of it, the outer surface of it, or in some cases, if it's a uh, low quality face mask, the, the blue ones you see often, you can spray both sides. Let it dry overnight and then it'll, you breathe through it just fine. It'll smell a little better, but it will also prevent those particles because this never 100% hardens and it's flexible enough but on your skin, the fiberglass will not penetrate, they will not attach themselves, and they will rinse all off whenever you rinse your arms. Uh, the better thing to do is ice cold water. Tightens your pores up real hard and allows it to rinse off. Don't ever use hot water. So it's a little tip showing you how to put in insulation. So like him now, his arms are dry, only takes about a minute, and he will put the insulation in. And that insulation, even though his hands and arms, as you see, are touching it all over, he will be able to rinse off with just regular cold water. And that's it. Always wear a face mask. That was uh, what Daniel did was just to exhibit what you do. But there you go. Hairspray. Cover your arms with it. Keep it off of you. And stop itching. You can spray your clothes down with it, too and wash your clothes separately from the rest of your clothes in cold water and it'll go down the drain. The uh, hairspray on your clothes, also, if you're working automotive and you don't want oil all over your clothes, you can spray it on your clothes and it keeps most oils will lift off in the wash using hairspray. So makes a good barrier, works great for insulation. Just thought I'd give you guys an update. Uh, look at my other videos where I show you the windows that we installed in this trailer and the fender well. 
that came out really nice and now that's white sealant all over it but it's getting covered with wood and other metal studs so there you go next video we're going to be doing on this trailer is going to involve that big heater unit that's sitting over there in that pile of goodies all right guys y'all be good work safe all right